what is the best investment opportunity I see for 2017. I'm Jerry Banfield. I'm grateful here. I made the first big investment of my life. I put more than $10,000 into buying a Dash Masternode in December 2016. Today, that Masternode is worth $27,000 just two months later. And not only that, it produces about two Dash every seven to 11 days. It pays out dividends essentially it continues giving and giving and giving in this one video if you've never heard of dash you've never heard of Bitcoin I'm gonna tell you all about exactly how to get started with this I will show you inside each uh, step you take to go from not knowing at all what I'm talking about to having one of these up and running yourself on my jerrybanfield.com slash dash page I'm trying to make everything you need to reference to learn to get started with this yourself I will even in the very beginning explain the biggest risks to doing this because I don't want you to go in thinking this is some fantasy great opportunity and it'll just work perfect. Every investment opportunity has its ups and downs. I'm grateful in December 2016, my friend Albert and who works for my other friend Robert with Wall of Coins told me about Dash. They said, Jerry, Dash is amazing. It's like what Bitcoin was supposed to be. It actually really has anonymous transactions. It has instant transactions. It has a more secure algorithm. It has a governance community where you can actually get paid to do things for the Dash community. I'm hoping to get paid to advertise this video out to you. Now, Dash is a more advanced form, essentially, of Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is an online currency where you can send payments all over the world in nearly real time without having to go through a bank. Imagine 2030, whenever Visa and MasterCard were being invented and people were saying, wow, credit cards, this is amazing. Bitcoin and all of these other online currencies are that level of innovation. We are seeing an amazing amazing new trend in money right now with user managed currencies. Now Dash, I got lucky you might say, I took a leap of faith when Dash was down in December over here 2016 when Dash was boring so to speak, it'd been kind of flat, it was on kind of a down stretch. I took the first big investment I've ever taken in my life. I got all the money together I could gathered together to buy this, which was about ten or $11,000, and I scraped all of it into putting everything into a Dash Masternode. I felt a little bit insane at the time because I was also feeling financial fear and insecurity, and yet here I am taking all of my savings and stuffing it into a Masternode. If I sold that today, I'd make sixteen dollars in profit. However, I'm not planning on selling it because I think this will be worth $100 thousand to a million dollars someday. I'm planning to hold on for the ride and educate you about this while it's still something that you might be able to get involved with. I'm grateful today that the Dash prices went up and up as users have continued to get more and more excited about Dash, seeing that Dash may be able to get up to the level of Bitcoin and maybe a global online currency that we can all use to have faster, more secure, anonymous transactions online. The first big feature, I read Tony Robbins' Money Master the Game and that's what motivated me to go take the investment, to actually go buy all the Dash to get the master nodes set up. That's what motivated me to say, look, I need to take action and read this book and get something that might be really valuable for me someday. Thank you to Tony Robbins for writing that book. One of the things that stood out to me in that book is this term, asymmetric risk. And that's what I see as a Dash master node, asymmetric risk, meaning the downside is potentially way lower than the upside. So you see what this has already happened with my master node up to $27,000. My upside, I've already made more than what I put in. If I took out all of what I put in, I'd have more than double what I put in already in just a couple of months. And the beauty of asymmetric risk is that if you make several investments in different areas, if one of them takes off, you have a gigantic profit. This is the foundational basis for things like venture capital. Venture capitalists invest large amount of money in exciting startups and most of them fail. 
But if just one turns into the next Facebook or the next Instagram or whatever's after, then the investor makes a gigantic return, tens if not hundreds of times of what they put in. I see this Dash Master knows a chance to make hundreds if not thousands of times my initial investment back. Give it 10 years and I think a Dash Master Node will be worth at least a million dollars. And today you can get into a Master Node for a fraction of what it may be potentially worth. Now, I believe in making the risks clear up front. So I've looked I've noticed in Tony Robbins' Money Master, the game book, the very best investors in the world look at all the risks. They look at the risks and see how can I lose this? What can I do that will cause me to have this whole investment lost? So there's a bunch of ways I could lose my entire master node. I could lose access. The number one way I could lose my master node is I could lose access to the wallet. Now that might sound ridiculous, but having Dash, having these currencies is similar to having a regular wallet. And if I lost access to the wallet, either there's several different ways that could happen. I will explain to you exactly how to keep the wallet secure, exactly how to minimize the risk of losing access to it. But the number one way this could go wrong is I could simply lose access to the wallet. I could have a computer crash and the systems I have in place to back up my wallet, those could fail and I'd lose. I'd never be able to get the master node back again. Now, I'm grateful I've set up things considering that risk. I've set up things to mitigate that risk. Another risk, my Dash wallet could get stolen regardless of all the procedures I've put in place to keep it safe. Someone could still steal it and still take all of the Dash out of my master node. I could lose it completely that way. That's another way this could go wrong. Not only that, but see the Dash price is up right now. Dash could completely collapse as a currency online. And it could go down and be worth like it was a couple years ago. It could end up being worth like 86 cents per Dash. It could totally collapse. The community developers could all bail and go over to Ethereum or some other currency. They could give up on it. And then my investment, which initially was 10000 currently is 27000 It could go down and be worth like $1,000 someday. So that's another potential problem that exists with this. And then on top of that, there's the problem of me. I might, what if I get greedy or foolish or whatever you want to call it or fearful, what if I sell my master node now and say, look, I just want that $27,000 back. What if I sell my master node now and the price goes up to 50, 100, 200, $1,000 and then I get to be the person the rest of their life who says, man, I had a master node and I bought it and I got greedy and I sold it. That's another risk. I could get scared. I could panic. I could sell it and just take the money back in dollars and I could miss out on 98% of the potential upside on holding on to this for several years. So these are the biggest ways I see to lose with making this investment. I presented these to you right up front. Oh, there's another way. In a funding and getting a hold of your Dash, it requires changing your US dollars, your euros, your Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, pounds, whatever one, whatever you're trying to change into and out of. So if you have a fiat currency, I guess it's called like a normal currency issued by government in the process of changing that into Dash, you could mess it up and lose some or all of it. So what I've tried to do is make the entire rest of this video very clearly explain all those scenarios, explain exactly what you can do to minimize your risk at each of these different areas. I've got 10 plus complete video tutorials showing you exactly how to do this. Now, one of the coolest features, you might say, Jerry, okay, I, I, I've I, already heard of these. I've already heard of Bitcoin and Dash. I've already heard of these, but there's no way I'm going to be able to buy this. I don't have a bank account. I can't make wire transfers. I can't buy Bitcoin. Guess what? I've even got a, a widget on this jerrybanfield.com slash dash page and I've got a tutorial. If you just have cash, if you say have 10 or $20,000 in cash and you want to turn that into dash, I will show you exactly in this video how you can turn cash. Let's say you've had 20 or 30, 50,000 under your bed in a mattress and you're like, yes, I want to really invest. I want to do exactly what Jerry said here. I'm going to show you exactly how to take that money you've got under your mattress and put some of it straight into a Dash Master node. You literally can make cash deposits straight into local bank accounts in most countries or, well, some countries. The US, 
Canada and any other countries that these services are available, just check on the jerryvanfields.com slash dash. You may be able to make cash deposits straight into a bank account and you get, currently you get Bitcoin back. You can, I'll show you then how to change Bitcoin into Dash. However, as soon as it's available, Wall of Coins is just about finished with it. As soon as it's available, there will be a direct cash to Dash conversion widget on my website. So you will literally be able to turn the cash you've worked so hard for and maybe you don't have a bank account, maybe you can't put it in the bank, you can turn that straight into a Dash masternode and have an awesome investment online. So thank you very much for getting started with this. This is a 11 part tutorial, a masterpiece that I've tried to make for the Dash community, for you as a potential investor, for you as a cryptocurrency enthusiast. I will show you each single step. I will show you more in depth about the masternode and why I think it's a great investment. I will show you more about how to set up and get your own Dash wallet running. I will show you as I create a wallet from scratch and fund it now with 11 Dash. This is my play wallet, so to speak. I set this up and funded this with Dash in the following tutorial videos. I'll show you exactly how to get your master node hosted like I have with Node40. There's a direct link to all the resources on jerrybanfield.com slash dash. That way, everything I'm talking about is in one place. So I'm grateful for the chance to share this with you. I'm so excited about this. I've been working on this for months to be able to present this for you. I finally got this all in one video for you here. I'm just about to go render this whole thing together on my iMac and upload it. I'm so pumped to, to hear your feedback. Would you please share your feedback, share your comments, share this with someone, talk about it. Tell me what you think of it. I'm planning on making more videos just like this. So thank you so much for getting started. I will take you through one tutorial at a time from not knowing anything more than you do right now to being able to completely set up your Dash wallet, get the Dash bought and in there, get your master node up and running and producing you rewards. Have I mentioned, maybe I haven't, I've been talking so much, this master node has earned me almost $300 in rewards already. I withdrew them to be able to submit more proposals for my Dash budget, which I'll show you at the very end of this, how you can submit a budget proposal. You can actually ask for the Dash community to pay you to do something. I'm going to ask the Dash community to pay me to advertise this video. This is the best investment I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the first serious investment I made. So thank you so much for sharing this with me. I will explain more now about specifically having a master node. Is the best investment in 2017 a Dash master node? What is Dash in order for this to even be possible? Dash is like digital cash created and managed by users similar to Bitcoin. What is a Dash master node? A Dash master node helps with the mining and processing of transactions. Any Dash Core wallet, which is the default wallet you download, with a thousand Dash can be used to set up a master node. Why is this a great investment? A Dash master node earns mining rewards every week or two. Mining rewards are similar to dividends, paid currently at about two tenths of a percent or so every week. Master nodes can also vote on budget proposals. Budget proposals provide Dash in exchange for doing something for the Dash community. They're like grants that are provided for people who help build and develop Dash as an online currency. Investing in a master node allows for three different ways to win. The Dash price goes up. If the price of Dash goes up, you win huge with the master node. Not only because the master node itself is worth more, but because then the Dash mining rewards you get are worth more also. And then you get access to the budget is the third way to win. As a master node owner myself, I find it much easier to make good budget proposals given that I can vote on my own proposal. Why is this the best investment I see for 2017? Liquidity. I can immediately cash out at any time. I could trade my entire master node back into US dollars today. There's no wait, it's not locked up anywhere. I can immediately have access to it. It's just like having cash in a savings account except it's not insured. 
Another thing that makes it an outstanding investment is the asymmetrical risk. That means 10 to 100 plus time returns are possible, whereas I'm only going to be able to lose the investment itself. Asymmetrical risk after reading Tony Robbins' Money Master the Game book is one of the things that stood out to me that great investors do different from the average investor. Great investors look for asymmetrical risk where there's huge upsides possible and then worst case scenario, you just lose your initial investment. So if you consistently make asymmetrical risk investments, the one that wins pays for all the rest of the ones that lose. I have a Dash Masternode myself. In two months, my Dash Masternode investment has doubled in value, which means my dividends now are twice as much as before. This is one of the very best parts of having a Dash Masternode is if the price goes up, the dividends are worth more than before immediately. I appreciate you watching. I'm grateful I have the chance to share this with you. I'll show you exactly what I did to buy into the Dash Master Node in more tutorials with me. So where did I buy in? Well, my friend Albert, when Dash was kind of boring and down on the downside here before it went up, my friend Albert told me about how awesome Dash was. He told me about the Master Nodes. He told me about the things I just shared here with you. And I actually bought myself a Master Node for Christmas. I took the biggest investment I've ever made in my life. I took about $10,000 and bought a thousand dash. It was scary. It was a big leap of faith. And yet I believe in the dash community, the dash system itself looks to be one of the best online currencies that I see with the features it has. So I bought into it around here on Christmas and the days after Christmas. And now I'm grateful that the dash price has spiked up to the highest it's ever been since then. It may go even higher, it may go lower, but I'm planning on holding my master node indefinitely. And you'll see that the Dash price two years ago almost had spiked up here before. And now as the community has consistently increased in value and consistently made improvements, the marketplace is catching up with that. And it may take off similar to Bitcoin. It may go up to $100 plus dollars for Dash by the end of the year. So you might be able to buy something today for $22,000 that's worth $100,000 at the end of the year. So I'm very grateful for the chance to have learned about this myself and that's why I'm sharing it here with you today so that you may have the same opportunities as I've had here with you. Well, I've got a page on my website. I'm continuing to put everything that's needed to learn about Dash that I find helpful on there. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you very much for getting so deep into this video. Thank you for getting started with seeing more about what a masternode offers as an investment. What I'm going to do now is take you one tutorial at a time into exactly how to set up each of these things. If you already know how to set up any one particular part of this, you're welcome to skip ahead. For example, if you already know how to set up a Dash wallet or want to do it yourself, just skip ahead. I'll show you how to set a Dash wallet up. I'll show you how to secure your Dash wallet. I will show you how to turn your US dollars or similar currency into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I will show you how to trade those on Poloniex to buy some Dash. I will show you how to use those directly to take them from Bitcoin, for example, into Dash. I will show you how to get those into your Dash wallet. I will show you how to get your masternode transaction sent within your wallet. I will show you how to get your masternode sent set up and hosted on node 40. I will show you how to even then make a budget proposal so you can ask for Dash in exchange for doing something for the community. So one tutorial after another, I'm going to show you everything that I think you need to know in order to get this set up. If you have any trouble in going through these tutorials I give you, especially at the master node steps, if you get stuck at something in the master node and my video tutorials don't cover it, I recommend the node40.com FAQs. Node 40 has very good documentation that walks you through each individual step and then node 40 gives you the ability to create 
Masternode public keys. It shows you how to do the key steps to get your Masternode online. So if you have any trouble, I recommend the Node 40 documentation or on my website, you can go to dash.org. There's a direct link to that. You can go there and there's tons more resources you can look at on dash.org. You can go look at the community and then I recommend the forums as well when you go to the forums you can get involved you can be a member of the community the way I feel like I'm a member of the community today because I get to participate in a discussion so if you go down here on the dash.org and you go to the discussion I like the dash forum so if you click and go over here to dash.org slash forum you'll find there's all these different forums and it's endless resource for learning about and getting started with Dash. So I hope this series of tutorials, you're about to get 10 more tutorials showing you everything to take wherever you're at right now and know everything I do about getting a master node set up. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm honored that you've spent this time with me. I hope this is a really helpful video for you. What is Dash? What is Bitcoin? What is an online currency? These terms, if you haven't heard of them, may sound like just random things I'm mentioning that don't make any sense. If you've heard of these things already, you might want to skip ahead or you might appreciate a review of them. So I'm on coinmarketcap.com, which lists the top online currencies. So these are user managed currencies. I like the analogy. It's kind of like Wikipedia for money. There are individuals and companies that are managing and issuing these currencies instead of governments. So for example, the US dollar is a currency issued and backed by the US government. Bitcoin is an online currency that is issued and managed by users online, a community of users online. One Bitcoin right now is currently worth $1,047. There are 16 million Bitcoin available right now. Now Dash is a newer version, a more of what Bitcoin was meant to be. Dash is a newer currency that is currently the number six online currency in terms of market capacity. Dash is what the community I'm a part of that I'm really excited about. However, I've traded and gotten to know a little bit about a lot of these different online currencies. Dash is the one that most excites me because of the specific features it offers, especially this budget proposal. It has a system of governance where you can actually get paid to help contribute to the community and that's why I think it's so exciting. I'm not aware of anything like this currently for Bitcoin and as as far as the other currencies are go, this doesn't seem to be the normal, but I believe there are some other currencies that have similar systems. So Dash right now there is worth $22 and there's 7 million Dash available. So there's about half the Bitcoin available and yet Dash is at a fraction of the price because it's newer and there's not nearly as many people using it as Bitcoin. And that's why I think there's an outstanding opportunity to get involved with Dash right now. I think it's way undervalued and I bought in on Dash. I'll go over and show you where I bought in. I'm very grateful my friend talked to me and got me all excited about Dash in December 2017. So I've been, or 2016, excuse me. So I bought Dash when it was only $10 or so and I bought enough to have a master node which then is able to vote on these budget proposals. So I've got a master node now and I'm grateful to be a member of the Dash community who's interested in getting this online currency out there and available for use to the world. It's kind of like digital cash. So I think this is an outstanding opportunity to invest in something today. I think it's an outstanding opportunity to get involved if you want to be able to put your skills to work and help a community online. I think this is an outstanding chance. So you can see Dash 
started at least according to coin market caps tracking around February 14, 2014. And over the last three years, it's went up significantly in value. Similar to if you look back at Bitcoin's history, it started earlier, same thing. So uh, this is why I'm so excited about Dash today. And I hope this gives you just a basic understanding of what Dash is in terms of the context. It's in there with these other online currencies and then what online currencies are generally. Here's how to download and install a Dash wallet on Windows. You go to jerrybanfield.com slash Dash and you get all of my Dash resources here or you can go directly to the dash.org slash downloads link here and go grab, you click on wallets and you go look for the Windows 64-bit or if you're using a different version of Windows, 32-bit. Or if you're using Mac or Linux, you can download those straight by clicking on the OS X or Linux tab. I'm using Windows 64-bit for this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I hit Download Installer over here. I wait for it to download and then I click on it and it's called a Dash Core Wallet. And this is the wallet you need to have a master node and this is the basic wallet for having Dash. So I hit yes to allow this app to make changes on my computer. I hit next, I allow it to install wherever I want, keeping in mind the directory where it installs will be important for getting my Dash files. And I click install down here and now I let the wallet install. Now once the wallet is installed, I need to be prepared for the wallet to be able to sync with the network. So the wallet, we're going to run the wallet right now and we're going to use the default directory, just let it do that. Now it'll pop up and say that, oh my God, Windows has blocked some features of this app. And what I want this to do is allow access. I don't want anything blocked so the wallet can work. Welcome to the inside now of the wallet. The wallet, as you can see, is out of sync and it will take quite a while, depending on your internet connection especially, to load the entire wallet up here. So while the wallet's loading, I will discuss the features that you need to know about the wallet getting started with it. The basics of the wallet, you have your Dash, which is your money available here, then you have your pending. This is how much Dash you have incoming. So if I send from one of my Dash wallets to this one, if I send something to it, it'll say pending before it's actually available. And then you have total Dash down here, which would include both available and it would include the pending in it. Now you've got private send down here. This is where you send dash anonymously so if you want to send your dash without having anyone be able to know about it this is how you use the anonymous features of sending dash so you do that you hit start mixing on here now what this does this mixes up the dash in your wallet to be able to be sent anonymously. It essentially throws all your Dash out to the network and then brings it back to you in little discrete anonymous portions, which you can then send directly to another wallet. Now, you don't want to start mixing your Dash up if you've got it all in a master node, for example. You don't want to mix that up because it'll take your master node offline. So this is how you send Dash anonymously in the wallet is to use the private send feature. And the another really cool feature about Dash is if you send Dash, you have both private send and instant send options over here in the send tab. When you use instant send, the transaction will be immediately confirmed across the network. It is the fastest way I know of to send money anywhere in the world. You've got these, when you go into the send tab, then you have transaction fees, which are really small. You don't even need to worry about the transaction fees. You've, so you've got this overview tab, you've got the send tab, and then you've got the receive tab. So you're going to need to receive money more than likely before you do anything else. So this is how you get money into your wallet. So to get the initial funding in your wallet from wherever you are going to get your Dash from, what you'll want to do is fill out a label. Now you don't have to put anything in here, but for example, if you're going to deposit, let's say you bought Bitcoin, coin with Coinbase and then you put that on Poloniex and then you traded the Bitcoin into Dash and now you want to load the Dash in off of Poloniex into your Dash wallet. 
what you can do is go over here and create a label that says, for example, Poloniex, if you say are withdrawing a thousand dash for your master node, you can put whatever you want on here. And then you can hit request payment. When you hit request payment down here, you've got your address. This address here is what you need, and I'll zoom it in a little bit so it's a little bigger. This address is what you need to be able to send money to. So for example, if you're withdrawing from your Poloniex account, this is the address you would need to put in, and then this is how you fund your Dash wallet. And the nice thing is you don't have to send, you can put in whatever amount you want. Any Dash that's sent directly to the address will go into your wallet. So even if you send one dash or hardly any dash or you send more dash, it'll all go straight into the wallet. You have the option to request Insta Send on there as well so that it's available immediately. So you can ask for it, but that will be up to the sender as well. The Insta Send does incur a significantly larger fee than sending it at the normal speed, which takes 15 to 30 minutes to confirm. So as you can see, the wallet here is still loading. It's been five minutes since we've installed it, and I have a very fast internet connection. So whenever you install your Dash wallet, be prepared to let it sync up before you do anything else. Don't deposit any Dash before you've allowed your wallet to sync up. Make sure the wallet is syncing correctly. Make sure everything lines up on the wallet in terms of saying that it's synced up with the network before you do anything else. Now, one other thing you might want to know right away is where the automatic backups are. So the in your Dash wallet, the thing that's unique to your specific wallet, when you create the wallet, that is backed up in a backup file. So if you show automatic backups here, and then I'll bring this down into the other window, so I can see where my wallet.dat file is, for this exact wallet. Now this wallet has no Dash in it right now. This is where my automatic backup is. So in my Dash core here, you see there's a wallet.dat file, and that's where my actual wallet is for this wallet. And then in the backups, there's a copy of the wallet in here as well. So this wallet.dat file is the essential part of your wallet. And obviously there's more complexity to this, but I'm explaining it as best I can in a simple manner. The wallet.dat file is where your wallet is, so to speak. So if you have a cash wallet here, this is the inside of your cash wallet, so to speak. This wallet.dat file is where your dash is really kept. So this wallet.dat file, if you give me your wallet.dat file, I can open up your dash wallet on my computer.